We woke up from an honestly terrible night's sleep. We never seem to sleep well when we are in places like this. Last night, several cars had come up to this point after dark with loud music, and then some people hung out for another hour or so, just talking. Also loudly. So we had a hard time relaxing. Anyway, while I cleaned up breakfast, Tim decided it was time we added our next sticker to Goose before he checked everything out under the hood so we could hit the road. Good morning. So, uh, just want to own up to a little mistake here, but also just show you what happened. Um, take a look at this brake line right here. See all that? You can see it's been cooked on. It's the plastic of our Airb airline and the sheathing that's cooked on here. Why did that happen? Well, this red wire here, which is a hot wire, that is the main power supply. It's a big. Was that four gauge, six gauge? I don't know. It's a big wire I ran all the way to the back of the truck. So all of our charging stuff back there goes off of it. The fridge goes off of it. The fan runs off of it. And then um, the inverter also. So it's a pretty, pretty big wire. It was zip tied here and back here, but in the middle it wasn't. So it was vibrating all this off-roading and it was sawing itself against this line right here where you can see the bare metal. Um, eventually it wore through the sheath and arced. Once it arced, this thing was super hot. The effect of that was to melt right through our Airbnb line, which is why I did carry, thankfully, this repair kit. So as you can see, I had enough slack in it. I didn't have to use two of these repair pieces. I was able to just put the two blue pieces closer together, use that little coupler, and now it's sealed again. The other result of it, besides arcing this giant line and possibly starting a fire in here, was um, it cooked this part of the brake system. So all of a sudden I had really soft brake pedal yesterday. And I know I just did pads maybe two weeks ago, something like that, three weeks ago. So it shouldn't be anything to do with pads or whatever. So I think it put air bubbles in the system because it probably boiled the um, brake fluid. So yeah, so we cut through our line, arced, almost started a fire, cooked our brake fluid and put air into the system. Uh, thankfully everything's fine. So I wrapped the heck out of it, used overly amount, <laughs> over the top amount of zip ties to make sure it doesn't vibrate and then we'll just keep an eye on it from this point forward. But hopefully now we're going to bleed the heck out of the system, put completely fresh um, brake fluid in, which is why I carry a giant brake fluid thing uh, so we can get an entire flush through the system and get fresh stuff because as you can see it's pretty dark anyways, um, but also knowing that it essentially was cooked. I want to make sure we get good stuff in there. So that is uh, one more mechanical on our trip. But as usual, it's something I modified and not <laughs> something Toyota. So um, in my opinion, that's why I, I try and leave trucks pretty stock. And I know that sounds ridiculous looking at this. But really, you know, most of the mechanical bits of this truck, no supercharger, no fancy anything, uh, is all OEM Toyota. So. <laughs> So after getting all that squared away, we hit the road, and it seemed like for most of the day we found ourselves driving along a river with a beautiful picture of Peru constantly unfolding in front of us. I have to admit I got a little too wrapped up in just looking at everything myself and didn't film as much as I wish I did now that I am editing it all. Also the stupid GoPro wasn't actually doing its thing. But it was just nice. It was the perfect temperature and speed to have the windows down, everything was green, it smelled so fresh. It was just impossible not to be in the moment right then and there. I always have to remind myself that there is so much I can't convey or show you in these videos. The sounds, the feel, the smells and tastes. I like to think in a way it's a good thing though, because it leaves so much for you to discover on your own. There is such a richness in actually being in a place. I wouldn't want to take that away. Maybe just give you a glimpse. The road is closed until 5pm. It's so. noon on the dot. Guess well. we have a long lunch break. <laughs> All these roads, yeah, when they're doing construction, it's kind of, you know, it's a one lane, maybe one and a half at best anyway, so then when you're doing some work, whether it's There's a rock no slide or whatever, 
No way to get by. It'd be cool if they cleared it for lunch. That's what happened at the one <laughs> spot, right? We got by after four hours of waiting. That looks like this will be another, oh, this will be five hours. So, we're kind of stuck. Yep, beautiful place to be stuck in. Yeah, though. not too bad. What you doing back there? Having a beer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on editing videos. That's what you do when you have to wait for like four hours on the side. It's true. We are in hour three and a half right now, yeah. uh, waiting for the road to open. So we're just chilling, and uh, we're hoping, you know, when they said five, maybe they meant four. You never know. So <laughs> I doubt it though. But it's funny because in the last week, this is uh, this is the ten millionth. No, not really. This is Probably the like eighth. Yeah. yeah, no, really, because we did four and a half at that one. Yeah. We did at least an hour at the other. Yeah. We did 45 minutes at one. So we're somewhere in the eight to nine hour range. We'll be at 10 by the time we're done with this. Just in the last week of waiting for roads to open. three days, not even a week. Yeah, 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 you're right, yeah. three days. Since we've been in Peru, which is only three days. Yeah. Darn you, Peru. Well, it happens. It's not hot here. We're just about to get to go. I'm so excited. I've <laughs> been for so long. Soon after. We made it a little bit further, and now there's another road closure. <laughs> Uh. So it's something. After waiting at a few more sections like this, we were free and ready to call it a night. After driving another 45 minutes down the road, we ended up on this quiet little road for the night. We woke, oh, someone's making noise. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy our adventure. <laughs> I wanted to let you know about a few free ways that you can help support us. Um, first is shopping with our Amazon affiliate linked below. <laughs> and uh, just do your regular shopping. There's no cost to you, but we get a little cut of that and that's super helpful. And the biggest way to help support us is just by liking and sharing our video with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And um, 
yeah, we really appreciate all of your support, the comments. They really inspire me to keep uh, creating these videos for you guys. Unagi. Uh-huh, unagi. <laughs>